So a growth mindset is just basically the belief that one's level of ability in any given domain is something that can be developed through hard work, practice, coaching, in contrast to what's called a fixed mindset, one's level of ability in a given domain, it's genetically determined. Over the course of our research, the data revealed to us that socioeconomic inequality was the factor that we ought to be focusing on. That underlying value, that super high priority value for teachers is, I wanna be that teacher who can walk in and inspire enthusiastic engagement from my students without resorting to any kind of coercion or threats. Some examples of the kinds of language we were encouraging teachers to use to communicate their belief in every student's potential to learn and improve were things like, I don't care so much what you know now, what I care about is how much you've learned by the end of the year. And if you put in the work to learn, I'll be there to make sure that work pays off. That sort of thing. So it's this combination of, it's not about how good you are now, it's about how much you can improve. The basic idea is that it is very hard to get people to change their priorities. It's much easier to explain how the behavior you want people to choose serves their existing really high priorities. The very first example, in fact, in, in, in my research was trying to get adolescents to choose uh, healthier, to make healthier dietary choices. There have literally been hundreds of research-based intervention programs, and none of them works. And the major reason, we believe, is that all of them are predicated on the assumption that adolescents will be motivated by about what's good for them in the distant future. You got to figure out what is at the top of their priority list and talk to them on those terms. Hey, not sure if you know this, but there are actually, food companies are spending huge sums of money on figuring out ways to manipulate you and others into eating junk food. And, and, and the best way to fight against it is to refuse to, to fall prey to their tricks, basically. So we made that argument to kids, then we tracked what they bought in the, in the cafeteria. They made healthier purchases for the whole rest of the school year, that was three months. I'd be lying if I said I, I wasn't surprised that after a brief 45 minute online e-learning module that teachers got, we found a six and a half percentage point increase in the rate at which students in predominantly low socioeconomic status classrooms pass their course at the end of the year, months later. Right now, my highest priority next application is um, frontline managers in organizations. 